We're here with uh, Tanak Pausch and he's going to tell us a bit about Global Rallycross. So Rallycross is a sport that's been around in Europe for about 47 years. And it's uh, a sport, it's, uh, the cars are inspired from rally racing, except they have uh, 600 horsepower instead of 300, so they're twice the horsepower. And they run on a short track, it's usually about a kilometer or a kilometer and a half. And they run six, seven, eight cars at a time. Um, so it's a, it's a chaotic sport but it's a high energy sport and the races are very short. They're only like five or six laps. So it's kind of like heats. Uh -huh. um, it's a sport I think for people with ADD, you know, you can yeah. have attention deficit yeah, okay. disorder and you can still be entertained by it. Uh -huh. The races also, you can sit in one seat and see the whole race. Uh, and it's a, so it lends itself to a young market and also to an American market very well. And the GRC is the first series to really grow here in the US. Um, you've, been around, you've been with GRC since year one. Uh, can you tell us a little about that? I started racing uh, while I was drifting and I uh, was uh, hate all the Philippines drift guys. I got to hang out with those guys before in Legacy yep. shooting, but um, I was drifting and then I was also rally racing, stage rally. And I dropped them both to go to European Rallycross about five years ago. And I could tell right away it was a sport that should come to the States. So I uh, worked with my manager at the time to talk about bringing to the States. He started the series GRC, uh, brought in somebody else I used to work with. Uh, and uh, they eventually sold the, the series to a guy named Colin Dine. Um, so it has made a couple evolutions, but yeah, I've been involved from day one. Um, with Andreas uh, Erickson, who runs the Ford team, also is very early in the concept mm -hmm. stage of, of forming GRC. And, uh, grown, I think it's grown faster than anybody could have expected. Wow. Um, you have, uh, you're driving for Volkswagen this year, and uh, can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, so last year I uh, switched to VW, and it's a great challenge, an amazing opportunity for me. Uh, to, to drive, uh, really the, the selling point was to drive the Beetle. Yeah. And uh, this is the most iconic car shape in the world, in the history of the cars. Yeah. Yeah. And um, to take this car that has also um, kind of a stereotyped car and, and make it do some of the toughest, most rugged automobile racing I think there is, it was an amazing challenge. Not to mention that Volkswagen Motorsport has proven itself as a very young company to uh, be a world-beating company, uh, taking on WRC and winning two championships back to back. And then they teamed with Andretti, which uh, you know, 80% mm -hmm. of the world knows the name Andretti, yeah. but in racing, it's a spectacular company. Yeah. And so the combination of the Beetle and Volkswagen and Andretti together was too great to pass up. And we're having, uh, you know, we're going through the learning processes of a new year, but 2015 is looking to be very strong. Uh -huh. You mentioned earlier that you had something special to show at SEMA tomorrow. Can you give our readers uh, a little teaser on that? Yeah, part of my agreement with uh, Volkswagen and part of my um, feelings is, uh, is getting kind of involved in some fun projects. Uh, and I do uh, see at SEMA here, this is where we kind of showcase a lot of aftermarket parts and stuff. I was lucky enough to get a Beetle and got to build one. And I took a uh, Beetle, which you know, iconic German car, and living in California, went over the other ocean to Japan and brought out one of the most iconic Japanese car designers there is, Nakai Suzuki, who is RWB, um, with Raw Wealth. And he only does Porsches, and I think this is one of the first non Porsches he's ever done. But he designed the Beetle for us, and that is in the Enios Oil booth, uh, which is one of our sponsors. And it's very interesting to take the raw core Japanese style design and put it on the, the German um, yeah. Beetle and put it together. It's very California style actually and um, looks absolutely amazing. We had Montegi build us 13 inch wide wheels. Eight inches of that width is just dish, which is awesome. I mean, the car is mean, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that, and we'll be showing it tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, do you have uh, any words that you might want to tell our readers in the Philippines? Yeah, the Filipino, you know, basically I could see the sport hitting the Philippines to be a bunch of jeepneys, you know, attacking through the jungle. Um, <laughs> but it's a, it's a very cool sport, and I know that uh, Filipinos love 
racing and cars because the drift scene there is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. So uh, I have a feeling we'll be coming to visit soon. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he, maybe you can say hi to our readers on Top Gear. Yeah. And uh, with Top Gear, I actually with Top Gear magazine in the Philippines, yeah. I was uh, I was amazed that the the book is a good book. So yeah, yeah. good job down there. Thanks. But um, to all the guys who are reading Top Gear. You know, the US show airs there. I don't know if it does or not. Uh, but uh, maybe it will soon. Anyway. Okay, thanks.